So Jim, how you doing today? Good, thanks for having me. So we, uh, we're doing something a little bit unique today. We are squirrel hunting, um, which doesn't sound unique when you just say squirrel hunting, but we're doing it with a slingshot. Yes. Sounds like a wild and crazy idea, but uh, it's not set that, it's not that far-fetched. It's actually, people have been shooting small game with slingshots for a long time, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, research you know, has, has shown us that uh, slingshots were being promoted for small game hunting uh, all the way back to the uh, to the 40s. Wow, and then for a while they actually became illegal here in the state of Kentucky to use a slingshot for small game. Wasn't but legal, correct. A couple years ago that changed and now you're, you're able to uh, hunt squirrels with a slingshot or small game. If you shoot these a lot, you can become very accurate. Well, yeah, it's all about repetition. You know, so the, uh, you can shoot 50 rounds of ammo in, in just a few minutes and go retrieve them and, and do it again. And you can get a lot of energy out of one of these. Yes. Like how, how much energy on a, on a, on something like this are we talking about generating? I mean, for what we're using for, uh, for squirrel hunting, I mean, we're getting, you know, right around seven to eight foot pounds. So that, and they say it takes what, two to three to kill a squirrel? Three or uh, five foot pounds for a squirrel and okay. three for a rabbit. We're actually using a couple different uh, styles of shot. We're using the steel shot here for practicing. What do you have there? This is a uh, lead buckshot. So for hunting for more energy, you're, you prefer shooting the, Absolutely. the lead. Absolutely. How did you get interested in this? Well, I'm an amateur radio operator and there was a, uh, try to make the story as short as possible, there was an ice storm about 10 years ago and uh, the antenna came down. Uh, some local ham uh, radio operators said, uh, go get yourself a slingshot from the sporting goods store and you know tie a sinker to some uh, fishing line, shoot it up through the tree and you can pull your your antenna back up and uh, they give you some ammo with it and uh, you know I started shooting the ammo and uh, you know just started liking it started doing research on it. You started building your own uh, slingshots and started shooting and you've actually competed. I won the East Coast Slingshot Tournament two years in a row 2010-2011. A couple things remember when shooting a slingshot eye protection is very Always. important. Yes. You, you know you're, you're shooting a piece of steel or lead that uh, can ricochet. Well, it can ricochet, and then we're also using bands that don't have the, the lifespan of, of a commercial band. So they're gonna they're gonna shoot really good, but they're gonna wear out a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're, we got a range set up, we're ready to go. The way you hold this here, and uh, you got the different parts and pieces on here. One is a wrist strap. It's very important to have a wrist strap Safety on Safety lanyard, yes. So it's a certain way that you're, you're holding You're not really gripping and squeezing this you're slingshot. Pushing it away you're from you and stabilizing it. That's why we're holding it up high on the forks. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got, it's, it's low to the hand. We hold it up high on the forks because that stabilizes it, less strain on the wrist. You want to draw a straight line with the mm -hmm. bands mm -hmm. uh, to the target, and you want to have good follow through. And it is like, it's about repetition, right? Right. If you keep doing it the same way, your eyes will ultimately adjust and Muscle help, memory. Help yes. you find the target. Yes. Nice shot. Well, Jim, I think I've seen you hit three of these in a row, so I think it's about time to see if we can't find a setting gray squirrel. I agree. You know, it wouldn't matter if we had a 12 gauge out here today. <laughs> we got the same amount of squirrels, wouldn't we? Yep. <laughs> well, they weren't moving, but I'll tell you, just this little bit of time spent around you, shooting this thing, this is something that I will add to my pack for my deer stand. Yeah, because it's so Cause easy to carry. I really see this coming in handy. So effortless. What about a cup of coffee? Yes, hot <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> 